This is a nice audio for artists so they don't have to use those guilt tripping ones anymore. Hey, I'm an artist and I made this and it's pretty freaking cool. And I know you're somebody who appreciates art because clearly you have good taste and I winded up on your For You page by you using this audio. And I'm just kicking back doing my thing. I do all this art just from to make myself happy, but if it makes you happy too. A good person and uh, thanks for watching if you made it this far um, this is the finished product pretty damn awesome if I do say so myself I hope you like it nobody's gonna know nobody's gonna know they're gonna know you guys asked for it part two of how to make your toe polish last for two months. So in the first video, you've seen me prepare my toenail for application. In this video, I started off with a green base coat. Yes, base coat is so important, guys. If anybody's told you it doesn't matter, it does matter. It is not the same as top coat. Those were all lies. Depending on the color of your base coat, it depends on the tackiness that it has. So a green or orange base coat is best. Next, you wanna apply the color you desire twice. Make sure you wait two minutes in between each time you apply. Clean up around the cuticle and any excess polish that may have gotten on the sidewalls. Use a generous amount of top coat. We want those piggies to glisten. Like and follow for more tips like Capitalize off pain, put a stick to your brain, speak on the gang, go out with a bang. I want the money for the fame on my. Here's a quick video on how to turn your old eyeshadow palette into some colored acrylics. You need an old eyeshadow palette or any eyeshadow palette you like to use. This one, I got it for $6 at Didi's, so you don't really need an expensive one. Clear or white acrylic. 
something to help you scrape the eyeshadow and a container to put it in this is optional but i do have an electric tobacco grinder and it helps me grind up the powder just to make it more fine you can find it on amazon choose whatever color you'd like scrape it and then add it to your container after putting it in the container just add some clear acrylic if you add white acrylic it's going to make it lighter but clear acrylic makes it a darker color Yeah. Yeah. I don't want somewhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I really need to catch up on this whole relationship thing. I'm learning more and more every time I. Like, this is a perfect example. And I was feeling. You like when a good man. You got a little bit of shit. Because you're. You're like, well, fucking that. You know, <laughs> I know it's a great listing. I know. It's just that it doesn't be more damage to have a listing like that we, that we don't sell. I mean, Swing, I had to make a play. I had to apply the pressure, cause you my hidden treasure. I think I'm falling in love. She said, What you know about love? I tell you everything I got.
this is the hack for all my beginners who want to practice on themselves i always see people using cuticle oil and then putting on three coats of top coat on their natural nails in order to do this but i actually don't put cuticle oil i feel like if i do that it's gonna get on my brush and then in my product and i also only use one thin layer of top coat when i was doing the three layers of top coat every time i would glue my tips on and i would start filing they would pop off so just one thin layer and they'll still pop off right after as you can see here so don't do it the other way if you want them not to pop off do it like this